your Vegas champions, your Miami champions, going up onto the main stage here, playing to see who will get into the grand final at CWL Champs from the winner's bracket. A huge advantage there. They can get there. It might as well be theirs. Unless, of course, Hunter Thieves comes uh, in from maybe. Losers, then no maybe not. No team so far has won a tournament. <laughs> Black Ops 4, two Losers. Only one series even been reset, so... This match right here could very well determine who wins COD Champs. This is huge. I mean, I have no idea who's gonna win. Talking to the fans the whole time. You have a bunch of Optic fans here, a bunch of United fans here. Yeah, everybody's asking Jack. Yeah, people are asking him who's gonna win, and he goes, Optic. And he goes, who's going to United? He's like, well, he's wearing an Optic jersey, so I'm gonna tell him Optic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's very tough because both these teams have been incredible in all three game modes, right? Like, they've been great in search. We saw Simp going off, and we also saw Optic beating teams in search and destroy as well. So it's very tough to, you know, predict who's going to win. And then even stylistically, right? Like, you have a very good Maddox player on Optic Gaming and Dashy, and you have very good Sogs on the other end on e United. So it just really depends on what superstars go off and take over. Over. Here's the one opening, though, I see for E United in this series. If you're an Optic fan, you want them to take this series before it hits Game 5. Game 5 is Arsenal Search and Destroy. E United is 3-0 on it. Optic is 0-2. So if it gets to that fifth map, that's where E United has the advantage. You, Optic needs to be able to take it before it gets there. Yeah. You've seen E United on that map. They're unstoppable on that map. They're incredible. And Optic can't seem to win it this weekend. Optic need to win this in four or less. At the same time, though, uh... What do you think about kind of those first two maps, that first hard point, that first s &D? If it's tied up 1-1, one, one, then does, do you start to get nervous for Optic as it scoots toward oh, a potential I mean, map five? Or? Optic's good enough to win all those maps. It's just map five is United's thing. That's like, that map is theirs. And there's like, like we talked about the last series, the pro teams, the top pro teams win their map pick. They're so good at it, and I just think that Optic needs to steal one of those before it gets to that point. So, I mean, yesterday and throughout bracket, we've seen TJ Halley going off. We also have seen Skump going off, right? So if those two players with that SOG role can step up and play like they have been against Sip and Abizi, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. Like, Sip and Abizi, they're not going to slow down. Like, those are two players who have been dominating for the last three months now. A busy for the entire season, really. So if Scump and TJ can keep that up and slow them down, we've seen Crim6 stepping it up. We've seen Dashy going off with the Maddox. This can be a tight match. Also, another opening is going to be that map three for me. It's frequency control, and neither of these teams have played this map. Look at this guy, Dashy, 1.49. I'm pretty sure him and Sip both have the same KD of 1.42. Yep. They're going to have an absolute battle between each other. But overall, it's going to be that map three, especially, because we saw the way that Optic Gaming played it versus Enigma 6. It went on Arsenal, but Karma went really, really big with getting a three-piece on that flank. Then we saw them play Reciprocity yesterday. They had four streaks, and unfortunately, they still lost that round. So that control is going to be really huge for me in this series. I think it's going to be up to Scump, really, because yeah. there's two frequencies in this series, and yeah. this tournament, Scump's been fantastic. But now he's going against the best Sog in the game, and he has to keep that up. They have two frequency respawns against Simp and Abizi. TJ's been doing his thing too, but those guys are gonna have to keep it up, and we already know what you're gonna get out of Dashy, but they're gonna have to step up. It has to be TJ and Scum. It has yes. to be them too. They have to keep it up. Well, they will have to deal with Simp. We've talked about Dashy, how strong he looks. Simp, unbelievably strong. This young man, they will have to deal with him. And yeah, you can I mean, see it there, a 3.15. I mean, you, you just have to play your game. He's gonna do he's gonna do sim things, right? Like yesterday in the interview with Jess, it comes to him and she's like, who do you want to play tomorrow? He's like, whatever. Like, <laughs> they all did things they're good at. Yeah. <laughs> I mean they're good at different things, but whatever. So yeah, you, he's gonna do his thing. You just have to do a good job of, of trying to neutralize the damage. You have to slow him down a little bit. It's very tough to do, but if there's anybody who's gonna do it, it'll be these guys. Right, well we've talked about this question a little bit already. We did ask you on Twitter using the hashtag CWLPS4. Who do you think is winning champs? And of course, we have E United run it up the tiny terrors. We have seen them already doing so. But run it up is 400 Ds, but uh, yeah. <laughs> From Legion, you already know after that comeback, 100 T is taking champs. Ooh, they certainly look like they can right now. And from Sean, Optic Gaming all the way, showing their best form in the entirety of Black Ops 4. It's Would you say their best, their best form now better than Vegas? Uh, they, only lost four uh, maps. Uh, they only lost four maps all of Vegas. They were yeah. pretty dominant. Yeah, but I this mean, is the, the best they've looked since higher. then. And the level play across the board for all teams is way higher. Well, it is time. Optic Gaming and E United. We're going to hand it now to the one and only Blaze.
Thank you, Katie. It is that time, folks, for your winner bracket finals. Los Angeles, let them hear you around the world. You guys ready for this? It's only two teams that remain undefeated, and I give you the first. Ladies and gentlemen, your Las Vegas 2019 champions, Optic Gaming! Now, they need an opponent, also coming from the winner's bracket, and they stand united. It is your Miami 2019 champions, E-United! Oh, man. Los Angeles, you guys ready for this? The stage is set. I know you guys ready at home. Miles, Momo, take it away. Oh boy, this is going to be very, very good, friends. <laughs> the walkouts are done. The analysis is complete. And now all that is left is to enjoy what may be the most exciting, anticipated winner's bracket final in Call of Duty history. I know I said it before, friends, but I'll say it again. This is going to be good. That's such fantastic pop on. How you doing, Phil? You ready? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Optic United coming up next. And honestly, what do I remember from yesterday? Screaming Dash's name, screaming TJ's name, screaming Sim's name. That is what highlighted yesterday. It dominated the top five plays. Just enjoy. Just I enjoy. Have. All Keep of going. you guys, just enjoy. Because this is about to be one of the best games you've ever seen. And again, like the analyst desk said, you go into that grand final from the winner bracket. You have a huge, huge advantage. Both these teams already top three. Who joins them from the loser bracket? We're soon to find out. But on one side, the Green Wall, the Young Guns, TJ, Dashi, the King, Crimbo, and the one, the only, the three time. On the other side, you've got a United, the veteran in Clayster, <laughs> another young parent in Sim Abizi, and the twins of Arcites and Prestini. 10 of the greatest Call of Duty players there is are amongst us right now. And it's exciting to know that with the elimination of, I believe it was ZG, now Karma still will be the only player to have three rings. No maybe, one else can maybe, get there. Maybe four. Well, great. <laughs> maybe four. We'll see how we go. If yesterday was anything to go by, though, this match is going to be one for the ages. Can United maintain that blistering pace they've set? Can Sim keep putting up transcendent performances? Can Optic live up to the name? Can they live up to the hype? The pressure on those young shoulders right now, insurmountable. Millions of fans around the world. Thousands here in the Pauli Pavilion screaming the name. I love the booze we united as well. All right, friends, this is it. And what do you know? Frequency, Halo, Frequency, and two Arsenals. And I love that final Arsenal pick. If we get to go all the way, this is going to be one hell of a series. Oh, it certainly is. And again, going into the half point, we've seen, obviously, both of these teams only lose one hard point this whole entire tournament. The stats are, are so heavy, but they're heavy for both sides. Very, very difficult to tear these apart. We saw exactly what the likes of TJ and Dashi could do yesterday. But does it trump what we saw from what Sim pulled out the bag? Absolutely not. Halo definitely Optic's pick on the Search and Destroy, one of their favorable game types. Happy to see that as an Optic fan. No Seaside coming through at all, so... It'll be interested to see how that one goes, the fans here in the Poly Pavilion. You can stand out all weekend long. There's a new passion pit, and it's at the front of the stage right now. <laughs> Full to the brim with Optic fans. This is it, friends. Your winner's bracket final starts now. Whether you, whether you believe in the curse or not. I mean, after look, today. <laughs> we've cast Optic twice this tournament. Miles, they've won both games. They've never looked better. But at United, they're in the winner bracket. That says it all. I will say, going into this game, the only map on Hardpoint that Optic have lost has been on frequency. That goes all the way back versus Carnage in group play. A very different story. But on the side of the United, again, it is strong, it is dominant. 
Half point, the only map they lost was Hacienda, but these guys go into this with confidence oozing out of every single pore. Are you part of the green wall? Do you stand united? Let's get into the winner bracket final. Whatever your affiliation, this is one series of cards we're going to remember for a very, very long time. Right off the rip. A nice two for scum. Impeccable form so far. The same could be said about RCT. C finds a nice two and answers back. The contest is over. The first four goes to United. But again, that's our point. So closely contested. Look for the swords to start shining. Looking forward to watching the battle between Skump and TJ. Between Abizi and Sim. As I see, I was putting in work at range. Grim again, fine form he's been in. The same can be said of RCT. This is two teams at their absolute peak. Going toe to toe. You will not get hot a cod right now, friends. Madless, you talk about Simp and Abizi, they come into this with a 1.43 half point for Simp, 1.18 for Abizi, the duo is hard to match, but guess what? His name's Dashi and he's 6-1 right now. He's gonna be shut down by the man that is Sim. The kill feed lights up blue for a second or two, but from behind, it's gonna stay blue as he united. Down by 20, they're gonna retain the spawns going into orange here. And Try and dominate the control room now. Forward, it's gonna be Clay, stripped of his title. TJ finds one, Abizi answers back. Wow. And the pace that these guys are setting right now. Wow. It's fast, it's furious, wow. it's karma. I have not seen a karma like this in my short tenure of COD. Grim answers the back straight away and the break is clean from Optic. They hit from the front, they hit from the top and they smash the wide open, but United on the return serve. They're looking to get back onto the hard point instantly. And look at this, the shoe's on the other foot now as Clay finds the entry kills. Again, scum. Still going strong here. Optic were 18 to 17 in half points since major tournaments. Going from Fort Worth in this tournament, they're 11 and one. And it is showing right here with 10 seconds, they are gonna have to push out. United won the rotation to Orange. It didn't work. Now they've won the rotation towards Blue. Let's see if it works out for them as Prestini is in a little trouble there. Scum's gonna handle business of easy and Arsites. Fine two, but both drop. Perfect breaks again on the first half point. Dashi now at Tempest, trying to lock down that blue corridor. It's a tough spot to hold regardless. Scumpy's with a sword, trying to make the angle work. There's the contest. Very, very easy to contest this one without the help of any nades or a war machine, potentially. Nice bit of work there from the crew of Optic Gaming. The clock's certainly working out in their favor. With that, 30 seconds remaining on this hard point. I think it's time to go in and Astro Gaming listen in with Optic Gaming. Watch out, elbow, elbow. Who's coming back? Who's coming back? Yo, yo, watch out, elbow. Simpson, you on me. I'm going to. Nice! Huge win, you. Oh, there's two, 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 I'm Oh, watch out. Oh, come in, come in. I got three. Nice. One more time, Italy. Come in. Come in, come in. You went there ladder. Went there ladder. Went there ladder. Yo, two, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm beating, I'm beating. Go you guys. Or where are you? You can hear in the comms, they're very clear from Optic and the control they've got right now over the map is unquestionable. 113, leading that 47. The United with a slam ready now to come under the top and take care of the hard point. A nice two from Abizi. 100 points away though is Krim from full streaks. We saw that insane three PC match to find there on low pipes. Good stuff already from Optic. Yeah, attack five boost comes in again. Just a, in the midst of everything, Carmen's the one kind of calling out. He's one away from the slam. The intelligence really showing here. And Scum finds two. Woo! Finds one. Grim Six finds another. Streaks are plenty. The lightning strike is available now. And as Optic Gaming double the lead of EU United with 25 seconds here, they actually have the spawns for next. TJ's locking it down. One may have just slipped the net. Oh, Prestini. Abizi comes through. 
Saudi United may have just challenged a little harder than you thought here. Going into orange now, finding one. It is going to be Simp at the back. We've not really been screaming his name yet. 10 and 12. Kleischer a little bit behind at 8 and 13. But Optic Gaming, the teamwork, the chemistry, the comms is all on point. Everything good so far. A little bit of bad time to play there as the players mapping from behind him. Karma finds it. Dashing now in orange. A big win. Tempest there though from Arcetes, able to light things up just enough to slow the push. No one on the point from United yet. Watch them push in through that backside. Watch Karma on the flank trying to hit Elbow as well. The pinch Dow developing from Optic. They need to win the fights at the front and they can't do it. Clayster gets by on just two HP. And this is big work from United, getting themselves back into this map one kill at a time. Uh oh, that's the chain to go down. Arcetes is hunted. He's having some fun. Oh, 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 hang on a sec. Yep, got him. Arcetes finds one more. And the Tempest will be put away, but RC's 300 away from those score streaks. And all importantly, that's the best set here from E-Unite we've seen in a while. Place to close to that vision. Pulse Group 6 a little further away. But that 100-point lead is now down to just 50. It ain't over yet. E-United now trying to hit the back. Big work again. You can see Krim now in a tough situation trying to fight the 1v2. Can't get it done. TJ's the last player left alive. He's going to go out fighting. Finally, the collapse comes through from the United, and now they're going to be challenging the hard point of Optic. But we do have the slam come through for Karma. Doesn't have to find anything. A scumpy Sorg does the work. Still spawning at the back. It's going to be E-United. So Optic are going to take care of a couple of waves of these United pushes before they can safely call cool that hard point. There's a Sim. Smashes down the front door there with the War Machine. He doesn't find too much more, and he's not able to get Optic off the point yet. So this is great work from the boys in green. Can Sim find something special? Of course he can. That's going to be the two, not going to be the third as Dashi shuts him down. It's back and forth, it's blue and green, the kill feed all over the place. But Dashi and TJ light it up, the two MPs here. The young guns stand tall, and with 15 seconds here, Optic Gaming, they're reaching on 200. They're trying to reclaim that 100 point lead here. Reunite fighting from the back. And Optic Gaming, hard to keep up with. And it's the king himself, Woo! 25 and 16. This man is on a mission. The best we've seen him play in months, maybe years here. Skump is finding new form. Back over the next hard point. TJ, nice kill. Krim doing the work as well with the ICR. He's been lights out all map long. This is TJ, once again, the defender of the pipes. A little over aggressive, but it's absolutely fine. It ain't a problem for Fat Bob. 205 now for Optic, as the United have once again been put to bed. Over 100 points in the lead here. Skump still has the, the four kill streak. He's still got his tack five boost, for goodness sake. Dashi and Karma, though, on the flip side of things, are going to find some before going down. Concussion connects. Skump, Skump slides out, connects with a couple here, waiting for the backup. And they missed everything here. Optic Gaming now 217 points. Can E United muster up anything to challenge this? Vision Pulse has been popped. Here we go. One solid break is going to be great for Optic now on the push. Hard point about to flip over. Purify is up. Rosini's going to get tagged. Dashi through the fire and the flames. He carries on. He finds two there straight up the rip. And that's the hard point in the hands of Optic now. 25 points for the win. Nice shots again with a tip. He's oh! He lands the second. 20 for the win now, as Optic still retain control of the elevator. That's a big nade up over the top. The shot's coming through, it's going to slow him down. TJ wins another big one on point. And now we're looking at the final 10. Here in the first map. Anyone from United available to get there in time? Stop the contest. It's going to be there in the final moments. It was Sim, but it is not enough. about the sword duos and the BZ and Sim. But that was all Skunk, that was all TJ. Those two alone shut down a United. That game was not even close. We're talking 50, 100 point leads in dominating fashion. And I just have no idea what Skunk, TJ, the rest of Optic changed from, from Miami to this. No, no idea. How? I have no idea. How do they find teamwork? In a couple of weeks. How do they how do they transform what was an abysmal performance really in Miami? Not good enough, man. Not this option. How do they do that? Let's have a quick recap of that last 60 seconds here for you. As I said, not even close. At this point, Scump still with that tag 5 boost. Scump right now, 26 and 16 at this point, with a positive 10. You can see Dashi putting in work, but for me, TJ really at the very end, he was kind of the superstar, the shining star. 
to shut things down. We saw the investment of the Purifier coming from Prestini, but little did he know, Lightning beats Fire. And Dashi there turns things up, closes things out. TJ, of course, coming in to close things with the War Machine. I don't think he even needed it at this point, but he united across the board. Placed a negative nine. Sim in the negative, you just never see those kind of numbers. RCT is actually 25 and 50. I didn't even notice him on the map after the first 60, 90 seconds of the game. TJ, though, finds one, finds the second. And a quick stim shot for him, and he closes this one out in such fashion as well, Miles. That's the first chapter in this very exciting story of the winner's bracket final. And a fantastic start for Optic Gaming to win the hard point. I believe the United's pick. Now we go into the search. It's going to be one hell of a matchup. The box score now for that hard point, which was again extremely, extremely close to begin with, and then Optic just started to run away with that one. I mean, generators is really look at that eight to seventy-four. And, and that's when we actually jumped on board with Optic Gaming with the in-game comms. And honestly, you heard TJ once, but you heard Karma and Krim, even Scum when he was in the action, multiple time after time. One's hour, one's inner, pushing blue pipes, blue jungle, blue jungle, in hour pipe. Like the comms were so precise, it seemed panic, but it was like controlled chaos. Yeah. It was when you've got five players on a team, obviously changing this year, you get that controlled chaos, but you have to find it within. I don't think I even heard Dashi, but he was probably doing something crazy that's on what, the outside. <laughs> that's the thing, I don't even heard Dashi speak. All he has to do is just sit there and like respond to the call, that's pick up those kills. Brilliant stuff already, friends. Man. We're coming under Bravo now. 100 Thieves versus oh Thieves. Now, again, you just watch 100 Thieves here on Alpha take down Reciprocity. But this is an extremely closely contested hard point here on Hacienda. Unbelievable scenes here. You would not be expecting this. Your back to back champs going up against E6, but they have had a brilliant run in the lower bracket so far. Team after team have fallen to E6. This is going down on Bravo right now. You and the Poly Pavilion able to walk back over the other side of the stage and catch this action in the flesh. Six Tracy leading this by quite a large margin here, but 100 Thieves, the story of champs for them has all been about. Comebacks here, Kismet though, to shut down one. 25 seconds left on the clock here. 100 Thieves can actually close this game out if they were to retain it all, but the contest is gonna come through. And you look across the board here, strong stuff from Octane. Wow, shock, 28 and 20, standard stuff for him. He'll beat all red though, Pristini, Kenny, enable, and Kenny with the second. They only need 12 more points. I think they might be able to do it here. We might have to see a contest in the Tempest. That locks it down completely. Shot punch, Tempest does connect, Tempest does connect. Can he find another? Can he? Yes, he can. Octane with 40 HP challenges. And 100 Thieves take map number one. How much more can 100 Thieves give in these matches to just keep having a hit comebacks? Keep having to pull out these absolutely insane plays. How much more have they got in the tank? How much, how much more life are they willing to spend here? Insane stuff. Search and Destroy is almost ready, friends. Halo as well, a big optic favorite. It's going to be exciting. You know what we get to see as well? You know what we get to see, Phil? What do we get we to get see, Miles? We get to watch Simp and Dash and shoot oh, the sniper rifle. Give it to me! That's really going to be exciting. And a surprise result, I must admit, for a lot of people. But that 109 performance from United in the first map. And here we go. Search and destroy. Six rounds for the win. Teams take turns attacking and defending. There are two bomb sites. We're about to see a whole load of magic. Here we go, Phil. Yeah, we certainly are. I mean, Optic Gaming SD has actually been their weakest game mode coming into this only. Played six, won three, lost three here, but a United on the flip side of things, they have not been perfect either. And the funny thing is about a United, the payload. I believe they've actually not played it yet. Snipes are plenty. Give me something, Simp. Simp got a little taste of Mohawk. I believe it was TJ just on the other side of him. He did back on up quickly, not able to give anything away. Watch that bomb making its way forward. Through the pipes they go, a BD again, tactical retreat. The United not willing to take the gunfight. It's letting the big ICR do the work, and we like to see it. But Karma, that little hop around the corner does manage to find play, pushed him back, and again we're seeing more and more ground being given up by United towards this B site. For me, Pristine is going to be the difference maker in this game. Sim with a strife is like any with a sorg, it seems. 4v3. Pristini coming in from behind. He's a little bit too far behind though. Abisi finds his second. Abisi Whoa. finds his third. And Dashi, one versus four. It's not going to be enough for Abisi. I believe finds his four. He starts it, he finishes it. 
That little kid is a monster. That was very smart though from the United again. They don't take the gunfights that I want. Beezy's the bait and pipes, he runs the back. Simplifies the covering fire, and again, they just wait for Optic to make the mistake. They wait for Optic to overextend and commit where they cannot retreat. Great stuff from United. And even at the very end there, Abizi's like, I, I, you know, give me this one, someone bait for me. And he gets exactly that again. I talked about it in the hard point. Communication, teamwork, chemistry has to be on point. It seems like it is for both teams here, but that, that was a shock for me, that hard point. That was a, a bit of a one-sided affair, but a United looking to bounce back immediately. Christini didn't actually get into that round, so he basically just ran around it, have some fun. Yeah, but I'm sure he'll be into this one. Here we go, Sim with the sniper. Where is Dashi? Where are you? High ground position over Sim a. with the snipe. Trying to catch something there. He just caught a little bit of karma, but not really enough to get anything done. What's that high ground position again? It's going to be Scumpy sitting up there. Bomb posturing through the middle of the map. So again, just hoping for a kill now with Sim. A lot of movement. A little bit anxious maybe here on Champ Sunday. It's the first time for him, after all. And what, what's interesting for me is a lot of Optic and have been running Dead Silence on some of the respawns. Are United, they're not even running it on the Search and Destroy here. However, with 40 seconds left on the clock, it's go time. Simp, still with the Sniper, trying to find something. It looks like a heavy B push Simp doesn't miss. As he finds one, pulls out the strike with a 20 bullets. It's dangerous. 2v2, 3v2, Optic take the advantage here. And out of nowhere, down to just play in a 1v3, finds the first. Nice and look at Optic run. Yep, Optic are moving around. They've managed to track play though. High ground position from Dashi. He play force the 1v1. Big kill on Akama. Now Dash has got to come up the rear. Hit that A site as quick as he possibly can. The bomb will be going down. We will see the clock extended. But Dashi, will he be able to catch Clay? Clay gets the bomb down. Clay has a sword. I never thought I'd see the day, but here he is. No, no, no. Dashi may have missed a couple, but he gets the kill, and you can see there it's like, whew, close one. But he had the cover again. Placed the can't complete the one v three, and optic strike back, all tied up here. I'm going in the ascent. Miles is eating popcorn. It's a good game, what can I say? I'm definitely not the only one. Imagine how close he was. Dashy clenched there, man, right? <laughs> yeah, every, that, that's every that moment. Every Optic fan in the pavilion clenched there, that was close. He's good. All tied up, round number three. Sims still rocking the Paladin. Uh oh. Dashy's heading to the outer side as well. Are we getting a Dashy V-Sim? Is this it? Peekaboo. Is this it? There it is! The first of hopefully many. Sims versus Dashies. E United have just shut this round down. This could be a clean sweep. And that's exactly what it'd be. Artetes finishes with the double. And yeah, sometimes we look at Simp, it's flashy, it's good, it's crazy, it's fun. But you look at the, the consistency of some of the other players, the likes of Arsties, someone who's always bringing that heat. ICR, it's not as pretty, but it's certainly as effective when it's in the right hands. Good stuff from Arsties that round. Arsties had a great year to begin the game off, arguably one of the best ICRs in the game. Mixed form throughout. No better time to be looking as strong as you've ever looked in Championship Sunday called Champs. Dashi going back over towards the outside of the map. Sim Snipe making his way through towards A now as well. And we are seeing a little bit of everything across the map now. Two players at B. DJ overextended quite a bit. Confident though with the backup of his teammates. This is going to make A seem like a very dangerous and scary place. E United will reposition. You can see Karma immediately repositioning now, knowing the play's coming, looking out for something here. He's about to find a hole off. It's Kalista. He puts him down immediately, no contest. The bomb's going to be going down at B now. And, and this is interesting because E United, again, not play payload here. It's kind of the first time we've seen them in the whole tournament go at it, and they, they look very comfortable. Again, with the first blood here, they've got the bomb down and Optic Gaming. They're kind of scrambling through these close, narrow doorways, and when you've got the likes of, of BZ waiting for you, it ain't going to be pretty. Clay! Clay! No. Oh my! Not now, Clay. Clay! Not now, Clay! Any other time but now! Oh, mate, just put it on Reddit. Make a meme out of it. Whoa! United trying to clutch up, though. 
And it give a clay a big sigh of relief if they do. 3v2, 3v1. I need a camera shot of clay right now. I need a camera shot of clay, but it's not over, Miles. Round's not over yet. Dashy versus Sip in for mine. What in the world was that? I almost spilt my popcorn. Clay fell off the map <laughs> in winner bracket final of COD Champs for $2 million. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. What in? Oh. Well, you asked for it, friends. We got to see it. Here it is. <laughs> you know what it's going to be. Oh, I fell off, bro. <laughs> he did. He really did. Back into the game. Round five. He's got three kills, you know, it's not all bad. However, Scum, TJ, they with the shining stars at hard point, they combine for zero and seven. Oh God, that's brilliant. You can't make this up. You can't write this. Is it rigged? No, it's not rigged. <laughs> Maven World League. Maven World League. 60 seconds here. Progression on to B, coming in for Optic Gaming now. Simp dances around once more with that strife. Abizi with the frag. We've seen what he can do in an amount. B. But no bomb plant just yet, Max. Gotta watch out for BZ. I'm glad we're on board with the BZ. He's made this real big flank through the snow. Oh. Big nade on TJ. Finds it. Now in a position to come up behind the remainder of Optic. Nice shots. Here comes the rest of the fight. RC's gonna find one. Dashi takes down Clay, and that's gonna be a 3v3. Watch out for Simp now. Rotating through towards that A site. Now, number three. Scumpy's in from behind again. So, you've gotta take care of this player on the outside for Optic now. And then you can focus all your attention to the inside. And it's Dashi. What a clutch up that was. Simp, can he find the revenge? He will get vengeance and make it a 2v2. Simp now and Arsties backed on out towards the snow. Optic will get the bomb down on A. Crucial retake now. Scump and Crim6. Simp and Arsties in a 2v2. No, you do not do that with a pistol. But he's got the back of his slides on through. Just 16 HP. Goes down as Scump slides away and finds his second kill of the round and the game. And wow, Scump goes down, but he's certainly not out again. Staying alive there has been the key factor, and Arsties knows he might be on a five kill streak right now, but he's gonna have to just dance away. Wiggle his way to a different side of the map because he does not want to go away from this 200 point potential streak. Yeah. A nice round from Optic. Came real close, Scumpy's life flashed before his eyes. And I'd imagine it was that trophy right now. They clutch up in a good round. Again, the pressure is on. Not as much pressure for Optic, though. Winning the hard point. Honestly, I thought when Sim jumped out there with a pistol and connected with, like, six bullets onto Scum, I just thought it was another Sim highlight reel, but... <laughs> Scum shuts it down, and Scum was having a pretty poor search destroy so far. He changes that in that round alone. I think TJ is still looking for his first, but... As we jump back into the search and destroy... Round number six. Sixth round, 200 points away from streaks is Arsities. Keep an eye on those. And Simp now, not really able to find too much after that big shot on Tadashi in the earlier rounds. Slow and steady, Bomb just posturing through mid. Once again, it's going to be pristine. It's a three-man push from United. Clay's there at B. If he can make enough noise, pull those guns off of that mid-tunnel. There's the bait. TJ finds it. Pristini's not able to close it out. Lovely stuff from Optic. Again, positioning the bait and switch. Trophy as well. It's all optic here as Dashi is the bait away, but Simp has the stripe and anything can happen. TJ and the rest of Optic Gaming are in the pipes. And Optic too strong here. It's gonna be all tied up three to three heading into the seventh. But TJ and I think it was Scump here again, just baiting and switching in the pipes. It was so beautiful. They didn't lose one of them. And yeah. Best play is going to be highlighting just that. Well, they were shoulder to shoulder in there. Brings it immediately to the green wall. And just don't let anything get through there. And that was on defense as well. Just allowing everyone to wiggle around. No friendly fire comes through. That's a huge. Now to tie up a 3-3 three to three in the seventh. Now with a bomb in the hands of Optic. Looks like a B push. Gotta watch that cut through in that mid-map. There's a death trap. We just saw what happened there to United. Can we find something now? It's a BZ. No need to work with. Halfway towards the slam. The tough thing is you can't overextend, you can't go for the pinch straight away. It's Clay, it goes for the pinch straight away and immediately Dashy, the trap is set. He read him like a book. On to B we go. Now with the United, a man down. It's interesting, obviously, Dashy put out 
Put away the sniper rifle. And now he pushes forward. This is what he can do with the Maddox! Simp though. Finds one exchange by TJ. Up to gaming trades are just simply too strong. Christine is going to be caught out of position now. And with a Sorg, what can you do? The bomb is down. You've got 30 seconds. I think he knows. Optic Gaming. TJ turned up in the seventh round. Skunk just before in the sixth, but it was a team effort. And Dashy in that particular one. And Optic Gaming, we saw what they can do on the respawn. And the hard point was dominant. They're starting to look like a different beast here. Momentary lapse is all it's going to take for United to throw this series down. Winners finals again. The winner of this will move into that grand final. Guarantee themselves a shot at that trophy. 4-3 now. As we go into the eighth round. Dashi once again. Eight. He's got 11 kills, Miles. He does, yeah. I was about to... Was, yeah, done. <laughs> 11 and 6. Two kills to Krim, two kills to Karma, but it doesn't matter. Simp Sniper has not really been too effective as well. Heavy stack towards B for Optic. Simp now just peeking forward. A lovely peek. What were you saying? From peak to poke goes Simp. Dashi on the flank. He's got help with his friends. And they're not going to be hitting that pipe. Dashi's going to try to soften up the back and he'll be watching the other side of the map. The flank now as TJ and Skunk go forward. But this is a prime situation for Arsties to be in. Simp's going to be there. Lovely trade Ooh. for Scumpy. A beautiful two piece. And now Dashi finding the kills on the outers. And this has all of a sudden started to look a little scary. Watch that clock though, 20 seconds left. He's got to make the play happen fast. Dash has got to keep going. And these shots are ridiculous. They're absolutely ridiculous. Can they get the defuse? The defuse is good. Dashi had 11 kills, he now has 14. But for me, that, that round was won and lost at the back by a scum. That two-piece that he magically found. I'm gonna be treated. I don't know how this hip fire connected. He's stim shotting and killing people at the same time. He bait and switched with himself there. That is unbelievable. And with just enough time to spare. What a run that was. Okay. Map point for Optic Gaming. Now they make their way forward to potentially 2-0 in the series. It's just one more round. Placey, you've come so far. Dashi has 14 kills, but more importantly, he has that Tempest. And we know how damaging that can be in the hands of Dashi himself. 50 seconds to play with Optic, going maybe for a slow B push here. It's gonna be a five-man stack. The frag's in the hand of a BZ. But where is that Tempest? Tempest is out. We've got to see Dashi. Push now, straight on the point. A BZ finds one with an A. That's a lovely bit of work from a BZ again. Arsys finds a second, but wait, 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 wait. The Tempest now in play. That's a big shot. You've got to stop Dashi as much as he can now with that Tempest. Extremely damaging weapon in this situation. He's fought for choice and targets. He can't get it done. He united. That was a crucial round. You extinguish the Tempest, you unplug it. You save yourself one round at a time. It is possible for United to do this now. Imagine peeking. Dashi with a Tempest. Arsty's peeking out there, just thinking, I'm about to get zapped. Not today. Tempest gone. Another round to the good for United. One more, and they put it to the 11th. This is Optic's map to lose. Offensive round now for United. Round 10. Round 10 and Dashi has more kills combined than TJ, Scum, Crim6 and Karma put together. Simp. What an absolute beast. No one from Optic's gonna peek this for quite some time. You know what Sim's capable of? They're not gonna let that happen. This is a fast plant though. It's going down A and Optic don't expect and Dashi's wrapping around the outside but that 60 seconds stripped down to just 45. It's gonna have to be a retake. We saw what happened last time though. BZ might be caught out, however, Dashi, he should fall, he will fall. Clayster strikes first, doesn't fall off the map this time. One by one, the piece is starting to fall together for United. Clay, he goes down to Karma. 
Abizi finds a bit of retribution with a bit of help of Pristini. 20 seconds left now on the defuse. Arsty's doing the best he can on the bomb side. There's the push now from Simp. Can he find the heroics now? The final 15, Karma. Got to get on the site. I don't think it's possible. And this is it. We're going to round 11. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Are you surprised? No. Simple stuff, but it was simply just the, the first blood. Clayster got that first kill. He challenged Karma. Karma actually found himself some fine form towards the end. Pristini down low, but every single player of United played their part in that. That was the important thing. That was the key element for us being pushed to a round 11. What better way to finish it? If this is a win now for Optic Huge, they go two and off the series. E United with the potential now to push this. Has Sim has the sniper. Has he got what it takes in round 11? We see him time again. Move that snipe forward. See your head back on up. But again, smart plays. A massive tag. A supreme tag, but not enough. Clay, though, does find the kill onto Karma. So now it's a five on four. Pristini on the backside. Clay Wait. finds a second. A BZ now as the United start to slay their way through this one. Optic back on up. Lick the wounds. You can play this retake smarter than this. You can push the bomb forward. United covering the bomb very, very well. Dashy though. I'm going to play forward. He's slightly disconnected from TJ right now. They're having individual gunfights, and this could go wrong for them. If it doesn't work out, there's a lot more members of the United to get these kills. That's a nice push to grenade. It's down to TJ. He's got 16 kills, but Dashy cannot find any more. Three rounds back to back for E United. They tie up the series one to one and Dashi drops 16 for the L. But do you expect anything else here? And that took some real heroics. Real cerebral gameplay to get the win there for E United on the preferred pick. Unbelievable stuff, man. I mean, we didn't even have to see the craziest plays. We just saw very, very smart decisions. We saw really good choices made there by United. And here's that final round. Oh, and we joke about Glaster falling off the map, but what a way to really kind of turn up the veterancy. Gives your team a 5v3. A BZ wins an individual gunfight, but at this very moment, when it's 5v2, they notice the bomb is down by A. The round's pretty much said and done. And Dashi and TJ, they, they don't really have much of an option. You've got Arsatis watching Alta. You see them kind of playing with it. Glaster does go down. But apart from that, E United look very, very strong, and it started with Glaster finding that double. I mean, I find it tough. But when I think more back about this, this final few moments, I don't see why Optic split. I think they should have stuck together. I feel like they should have stayed together and made the push. At the same time, you know, it was a heads-up play from Tej, and a great nade comes through, finds a kill, but at the same time, it's hard, man. Anyway, friends, it's a one one Over to Bravo, very, very quickly. 100 Thieves. They managed to win that hard point, as you saw, and now we go into round 10. It could not get any closer here on the Sunday of God Champs. Well, last time we jumped to 100 Thieves, Kenny was pulling out a lightning strike, and that was hard point. Here it is on Search and Destroy. Deja vu, it seems. It's 100 Thieves making a 5v2, a 5-4. 100 Thieves. They've had one of the toughest runs down in that loser bracket. They fell early. However, it's a 1v3 to stay in the game. It's all up to Brezzi, the Frenchman himself. 100 Thieves lead. 2 to 0 in the series. And they are searching for only one thing. They want that third championship. They want to solidify themselves as the best Black Ops 4 team in history. For them to do it, they've got to come from that loser bracket. It's tough to do that. We had as Pac-Man said on the desk, nobody thus far in Black Ops 4 has managed to win a tournament coming from the lower bracket. And what a time to do it. What a historic, poetic time than champs. Tied up 1-1, friends. United versus Optic Gaming. I hope you're comfortable because this could be a very, very long and exciting series. Coming up after the break, control. Don't go anywhere. The Call of Duty World League is brought to you by TCL, America's fastest growing TV brand. And Scuff Gaming, the official controller of the CWL.
Welcome back to Championship Sunday here at the 2019 Call of Duty World League Championships. Coming to you live from the Pauley Pavilion here in Los Angeles on the lovely UCLA campus. It's been a bloody delight so far. Miles Ross and Momo are going to be taking you through this one. And my goodness, friends, it is exactly what we hoped for. The winner's bracket final here between E United and Optic Gaming is one for the ages. The first hard point was a bit of a smeggity smacking as Optic came to play. But hey, look at that. Look at that. Search, baby. Control now. Popcorn at the ready. He's actually eating it. Actually eating it. Up to game and dominate the half point. E United narrowly win the search and destroy in a round 11. Miles, please stop feeding the crowd popcorn. No. Control coming up next. And again, this is where we're seeing some incredible things from certain individuals. I expect you saw sword players to be the really standout players in this one. Going into it. Sim, 1.26 control, a BZ though, with a 1.8, and a BZ spawn three. Yeah, it might be bigger by the end of this game. United already with a nice bit of progress towards A. And if the first map was to go by on anything here on frequency, it was a hard point. Optic had great success, but this is a lightning start from a United again. Not the same as the hard point. Optic had to divert forces to be expecting a play there. Pristini now as they cut their way across the map. Crim6 on spawn. They've actually just ran straight past him. They're not mind about Crim6. Crim's waited for it and he's staying in his base. He's leaving his boys now all alone, but Scumpy, he don't need nobody. He finds that kill alone. And this is a supreme defense from Optic. Crim's still in his base. He hasn't been able to get out. Oh. But he finally gets the kill, but at the same time, I mean, the clock's been really working out in the favor of Optic now. The life count as well. So this is great work from them. Carmen out on the offensive is Wadashi on the other side of the wing. Yeah, one of the best things that Krim did there was just stay alive. He knew that they couldn't fully commit if he was still in the back. And luckily for him, his team down by B. Handle business. Prestini and Simp, though, find three combined. Krim 6, the only one to answer back here. And now, this is the aggression that EU United want to see. That's four players coming off spawn. Karma's up top and Karma's down. And now the floodgates will open. EU United know exactly where they're coming from. But TJ, too strong there for Clayster. Not strong enough to take down a BZ as he finds his second. Nice bit of work. Karma's still good. Second tick though, complete. Third is down. A nice hold as Optic will fight on. Simply playing the pipes now. Waiting for that reinforcements on the other side of the map. Optic have made the good read though. Arsties, he and Pristina now pushing up. Scumpy though, catches one. Arsties now in mid map. Trying to get involved on this fight. Almost Miles complete now at B. Tick. It's almost done. Where is the push? It was no one there. No one there. Optic were punished there by the very aggressive e United, purely on the, the first couple of ways. They got that first and second tick really, really quickly. And e United, what they do so well is they pile on that point. They judge the timing so, so well. They know when to jump on, they know when to jump off and push forward, play for kills, play for points. E United strike first here in the control. It felt like that round could have been a lot quicker. It felt like e United could have won that more decisively. I mean, they could, but Optic Gaming, you know, they, they battle back on the first and second wave of kills, but United and Abizi. We talked about his KD coming into this at 1.8. He's now 6 and 4. He's nearly got his slam already. And Optic Gaming, this is a really strange push here. It's a very slow A push. Yep, slow, but it's managed to get there. Woo hoo hoo. More of a tortoise than a hare, and they do get it. Spawn kill. First tick's done. Pristini might be able to hit the flank now. He's got to get there quick. The second's almost complete. It's going to be Karma in the Vanguard, though. Watching the back. Calls for backup. Spawn kill. Ooh, T just getting bullied, but A's done. Poor TJ, man. He's back on spawn again. They're still in his base. And now there's two of them. Arsty's the only one going down. The rest of them are sort of spread out across map. And United with a solid hold tip. A is done, though. However, 25 to 23. The life count favoring e United ever so slightly. Nothing to worry about just yet here as Arsty's trying to lock things down. We'll find one beautiful ICR shots may get shot and taken from the side, but he's got his teammate. His teammate of easy. Coming in, saving the day as TJ finds the double beat down onto Clayster and Prestini. You see Optic Gaming. You know, are they gonna push the pipes? Are they looking for that flank? It looks like they're trying one on the side and two through the middle. But well, United, they've got a very firm grip on this game right now. Yeah, it's not easy for Optic to find any openings. United are playing this very, very well. They've actually good reads as well. I mean, in every push that Optic have had, they made something happen. But it's going to take brute force like that. Something that Optic have plenty of. And play slow him down with a stun. 
The kills are great. Covering fire on the other side. Karma, yet to go down. There's the foot. The Achilles heel of Karma found. And brilliant work from Clay to stay alive there. Get the kill. Provide the reinforcements. And 20 to 13 is going to be the control score so far in the life count. Abizi with that slam also ready now. Oh boy, that was a nice gunfight downstairs. Not a crucial one, but the life count helps. Karma finds two. 17 to 12 still, as the United are still holding this very well. The final minute on the contest. Optic now making another play. And the scary thing about this, Miles, the United, if they can win this simply by out shooting Optic Gaming, which it looks like they're doing, they've outslayed them heavily in the previous two rounds, so they go into the third with plenty of specialists. Optic don't have that. We could see a very hot 3-0 if the United continue the dominance that they're showing right now. They've got a slam, they've got a war machine places close to the tack five, and if he can get that off the get-go, for round number three, it's 15 to three, for goodness sake. Optic, wake up! I heard you, Prim found two, but the 20 seconds left, Brasini's now on the hunt for the final two. A couple of nice trophies for the trophy room, he's gonna get dashy. There's one more to be found, and that's gonna be Krim. Krim's gonna make him work for it. So this is all for naught. As the round is absolutely, unquestionably, E United's now. Two nothing, in the control. One more round. And they take the lead in the series. And again, I, I reiterate the point here. They're going in with a lot. They've got the firepower here. They've got the score streaks. They've got the specialists. And they can really, if they utilize it well, which United seem to be so good at, whether it's the slam, the war machine, whatever it is, they seem to put those specialists to use so, so well. We need to see Optic hit B. I think that's where it's got to go down. They've got to hit a B here. Mix this up big time. Watch out for those A fights. The United can close them out right now. It's an offensive round for United, and if they manage to take one clean zone, a BZ slam, a Simps war machine, plays tack five, now use. It's all in. Optic can make the read. Uh-oh, Simp manages to stick his teammate. He's going to try to make up for it with this war machine. Big tags, beautiful shots. Karma's ears are ringing. And now he's down. Simp with a blistering, blistering aggression as they start to capture zone A. Simp's got a lightning strike for his troubles. This is actually pretty good here for Optic. Whatever, a BZ. He had a 1.8 going into it. He's looking for number four. And all he's gonna find is a few ICR bullets in his back. However, that's fine. Arsene, he translates straight over towards B. This is a brilliant transition and already progress towards it. Optic are there at the right time. The shots come through and they take care of the twins. Arsene's heat will fall. Simp goes as well. B is made safe. However, A, almost complete. It falls to Clay and Abizi on the two-man cap. And I think Optic will opt to push for this one. They're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna see the two minute, 15 seconds on the clock. The United have got a lifetime to work with now, relatively even in the life count. So at this point, United have a couple options. Push together, try and flood one point, and overpower Optic. But it looks like they're going for something different, a pinch here. When and if they get kills, they're gonna spawn Optic Gaming in the back of their spawn. They can turn around. And the lightning strike is going to open this, and there's three people ready to spawn kill. However, no one available. He finds one, finds the two. However, Optic Gaming strike back with three themselves. They know where Optic is spawning, of course, but they don't have the fi firepower down low as well. That push has been halted. Optic Gaming stands strong. TJ's a hero for getting that one done. Two kills, almost a third. Survives the lightning strike. Now you don't have to worry about the flank anymore. Now you just have to worry about the front push, and it's a BZ on point straight away. It's going to be a contest. Wow, I was going to say, if he can hold on for much longer, this is great. Pristini now, Pristini now. There's going to be four members of Optic here. Is anyone watching the flank? Scum turns. Scum can't get it done. I think Pristini did enough damage. He took down two. He put the bullets in. And with only one remaining, everyone from E-United rushes, floods. And they do not let these zones go like this. And E-United will 3-0 Optic Gaming. Prestini might have only found one on the flank, but he damages the second. Those are the type of plays Prestini makes, which go so unnoticed. We that notice was... you, Prestini. Oh, that was disgusting. Like a lifetime in the making to really get that one to work, but once it hit, just worked out so perfectly. A lot has to go right in these games. A lot has to go right in 5v5. And it really did there. The United now won. Hard point away from securing a spot in that grand final. So again, just to recap exactly how this goes down, so this is the first pinch that the United set up. This doesn't go too well. Sim does open it up and Clayster finds one, but it's TJ there. 
Goku finds the all-important double. He finally gets traded out, but at this very point, Abizi's left on his own. Very low on health, didn't have a stim shot, so he couldn't re-challenge. And then it was kind of a bit of a, a bit of a mess here for both sides. But it's Optic who kind of get into the zone a little quicker, of course, where they spawn. And it goes back and forward. Look at number one. Christini hits the flank, and it is a bit of a bloodbath going down at B. Abizi doing work. The kid goes 18 and 9. Of course, incredible. What is the trigger discipline from Prestini? Finds the first, weakens Dashi. Dashi falls to Sim. And then as the fourth and fifth go down, E United have only one thing in their mind, and that is just piling on that point. Look how quick and fast this third tick comes in. Nothing could stop E United taking that away. That's a classic United move. We've seen them do that numerous, numerous times in frequency. The five-man dog pile straight onto the point gets the cap done so, so quickly. Now they put themselves at one map away, and it's going to be a hard point. Now, it's tough scenes for Optic, as you can see on your screen. But the hard point dominance was certainly felt in that first map of the series. The United didn't really have an answer to anything Optic threw their way. The pace was set. The frequency was all theirs. Now, have the United started to warm up, Phil? Have they started to find form? I, I think is warming up is, is an understatement. Right now, they've found their form. They've just 3-0'd Optic game and in control. We've seen exactly what they're capable of, but for me again, a BZ going into that, we highlighted at the start with a 1.8, like you go into a kill dependent game mode with objective with a 1.8, and then you start off with a triple and you end things the way you do. Like the guy was double positive by the end of things. The first and third were not close, but that payload S and D, that was a nail biter. Now we go back to Arsenal, or go to Arsenal, should I say here for half point, we'll be finishing on it no matter what. Optic Gaming fighting through the winner bracket. Of course, every single game, Miles, has gone four. They've won every single map four, whether it be Hacienda, Seaside, Arsenal, or Gridlock. <laughs> They've even played a frequency. It seems like the specialist in four, but going into this, every single time, Miles, they've been 2 1 up in the series. Right now, they're 2 1 down. This is a different mentality coming into this one as Optic Gaming, the green wall, is a must win. And how are Optic going to handle that kind of adversity in this situation? How are they going to handle that kind of metal that E United are bringing? We've seen the resolve that E United have on this very map. The comeback they brought against Evil Geniuses was staggering. One for the history books. And this is definitely looking like a good pick now, already, for E United. Team Kill comes in, but that's not a problem. The hard point will be theirs for the time being. As Dashi continues to put in pressure onto the hard point to take care of there by Abizi. And Asti's now putting that ICR to good work. And coming into this series, Mal, nine of the ten players came in with a positive KD on hard point alone. The only player just short of 1.0 was Karma, but it didn't matter at all on map number one. That's clearly what's working for Optic Gaming right now. Combo starts off a little slow. 0 and 3. United dominate the middle, but it's all about that rotation. Number six, Skump is going to be crucial here for Optic Gaming. But Arsty's on the hunt. He could smell him. Trying to find his players from behind again. He's fighting currently to get Scumpy out of space. And there he goes down. Scumpy's down. The back is made safe now for United. And they're going to be watching that front. Christini's going to be taking on a few players as they make their way forwards now. Has to retreat. He needs the backup of his team while they pick up this hard point time. This is all good. The tactical retreat comes through for United. And this is even better for EU because they're holding from the front. They've got the high ground from the gun. They've got potential rotation. Arsties and Pristini. The twins challenging together. Brothers in arms. Optic Gaming just two points on the board here. Dashi, slow start. Karma, slow start. Optic Gaming. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Playster finds two. Pristini shutting things down. I said in the control, they need to wake up. And they certainly need to change something up here. E United's going to get the scrap time. E United have the rotation. There is no score streaks. That's the only thing that Optic Gaming can take from this right now. Good rotate from Optic, but the gunshots there. Out of clay, he does find a nice big one. Oh, Ooh. wow! Ooh. Sim with a ridiculous sword kill. Why do you challenge that? They didn't have a choice. He thought he had it, and he did not. <laughs> Dashi made to look like an amateur for that shot. Abizi tries to lock down Lobby. He does. Asties now. Perfect timing. Lightning strike. Hellstorm. E United simply looking unstoppable right now in this third hard point. The chemistry is unmatched. Arsties is 7-1. A five-kill streak. Sim finds a double. 
Primancer's back, but all these points, all these exchanges are going in favor of United. Prestini finds one and dips away to get a easy for the bait and switch. Optic Gaming, the trend is getting double digits at the moment. 100 to 10. It's not the first time we've seen a ridiculous scoreline like this in a hard point of champs, but not now. Not the winners' finals. Prestini's two come to an end. The rotate goes down. It's going to be Clayster in position. Going to go 1v1 against Scum to fight for control of the first touch of the hard point. The reinforcements now arriving for United. Scump is alone. Scump is completely alone. He does not have anyone to back him up. He doesn't need anyone to back him up right now. As Optics start to reinforce the point. Streaks are going to fit. Connect with just one. He's going to hover this one over elbow. Doesn't connect for the second here, but jumping through the window. TJ. Not a good fight, you should win, but he's got the help of his friends. Glaster, Arsites, a busy breakthrough, and there's 30 seconds left here as well. The streaks have been used, the lightning strike is available, and Arsites already ripping it here with the Tempest, helping out his teammate with a trophy. It's a team player, it's Arsites. He connects with one. The grapple comes in, but he connects with that as well. He doesn't get the kill, but his teammates will clean up. And oh my goodness, a 100 point lead for United. Optic Gaming. They need to win this map. This is an absolute must win. And this is not looking good. Arsenis, big shots coming through. 11 and four for him. 11 and five for Simp. 14 and five for Pristini. The slaying power that I think I've had all tournament long seems to have just run out. And United have come to play. They're looking to close this down. They're looking to push this out. Find themselves in a grand final. The first time that some of those players will have ever competed for that very trophy on stage. And Clay's doing everything he can to pull that team forward. Keeping the kills coming, keeping the shots through. 2.15 away from streaks. Pristini and food. Cuts off the reinforcements. Vision pulls at the ready. Pack 5 at the ready. Slam at the ready. And War Machine at the ready. Prestini pops the vision pulls. E United have won every single rotation. So far here, Skunk trying his best over by the gun. The kill feed is blue. Sim finds two. Artetes, 14 and 5. Carla is getting shut down. Simp is going off. Prestini's on a five kill streak. E United are unstoppable. It's the new blood. It's the new blood of Simp, of the Abizis, the Dashies. These players we talk about so much, the up and coming stars, they're the ones who are really running this one home. And Abizi slam comes through with E United in the lead. Let's jump into a quick Astro Gaming listen in with E United. United, they can taste the win. They can taste the victory. It feels like there is nothing that Optic can do right now. Prestini is 23 and 6. We haven't seen a performance like him in that form for so long. And what a time to do it. What a time to get it done here on Champ Sunday. It's the twins, bro. 20 and 6 for Asties, 23 and 7 for Prestini. The chemistry is unmatched. And this is where United make it rain here. Everything is coming down. Like a ton of bricks on Optic Gaming. It is just simply too much. The kill feed is all blue. And it's going to be lightning strike after lightning strike. The twins are 46 and 13 combined. It's been a long year for United. Questions about retirement. Questions about leaving one another's squad. Breaking up the brothers. But now, with absolute certainty, United are going to the Grand Finals. And Glaister is certainly roaring now. Beating on his chest. I have never seen a performance on Sunday like that from Prestini. And he won the previous event. He was in tears at the end, lifting the trophy, the playoff trophy. But him and his twin Arsites. What a game from E United. Optic Gaming drop to the loser's bracket, where I believe 100 Thieves are waiting for them. But right there, it wasn't Simp, it wasn't Abizi, it wasn't Clay. It was those two twins.
And I, I cannot believe that scoreline. 250 to 52 was the final score in that hard point. There's nothing, there is nothing you can do against this squad at times. United have just proven to be far too strong. No matter what the map, the mode, they just have the ability to shut teams out and do it in such an exciting way. What can you do? Nothing. Right now, nothing. Congratulations to E-United. You will be in the grand final, but let's just talk about Optic for a second. What the hell just happened to them? We saw Optic Gaming go into this series 11 or 12 and one on half point. They extended that by destroying E-United in map number one, but they got 52 points. 52 points here. And they have to recover so, so fast right now because they are about to play a team which has been so goddamn good. Uh, unbelievable. They didn't get a single second in the second hard point of weapons testing. Lobby was a single second there. That was the one, one of the most, and possibly the most disgusting hard point we may see from two professional teams of this caliber in Black Ops 4, because let's face it, we've only got a few hard points left. Isn't it brilliant? The final three teams, Optic, 100 Thieves, United, boy, oh boy. Champs hasn't disappointed. That's all from me and Momo. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. But now, it's a PlayStation Instant Reaction with Clayster. Thank you, Miles. Clayster, how do you feel right now? Um, you know, good, but we still got a, lo a little bit to go. Uh, we're not going to feel too proud of ourselves until we're holding that trophy right there. Yesterday, Sim told me that teamwork was key, and that is what is going to carry you all the way through. What do you have to say about your team right now? Um, I mean, dude, I can't say enough about these four guys, and Bryce is our fifth, and Burns, and the whole management and everything, like, it it's really special to me to have a team like this who all believes in each other and all has a talent and the teamwork. It's, it's really heartwarming that all of us kind of banded together, and, you know, it's us against the world. What are your final thoughts before you head into the Grand Finals? Um, it's our fourth Grand Finals appearance this year, third with this team. Uh, we're trying to win this one because this one's the one that means the most to all of us. Well said, thank you so much. This has been your PlayStation Insta Reaction. Over to Katie at the desk. Is E United about to go back to back? Are they about to be both your Pro League champions, the CWL Finals champions, and your champs champions? They are a series <laughs> away. It's nice to peak at the right time, I'll yeah, tell you that. Like, <laughs> last month of the season, and now they're in their best form. They look incredible. What they just did to Optic on Optic's map just pick mantled them. was incredible. Second hill, they didn't get a point. Last hill, they only got one, one point. point. <laughs> that performance was unreal. We haven't even talked about Pristini this whole time. He just went crazy against them. It is unreal. I couldn't even believe it. And that search and destroy went all the way down to 6-5. But on the side of E-United, they were down 3-5 but they brought it all the way back, also getting eight first bloods. That was such a huge round in that 5-5 for the momentum switch, especially going into that control, because before the series, they both haven't played that single map. But E-United are 5-1 compared to Optus Gaming now 4-3, so E-United is now 6-1. It was just a completely utter dominance out of Abizi. He was just so annoying in their base, on, around that pipe area, just being that nuisance on that map. I mean, even in that control, that was... You know, this hard point is very dominant, but that control is even more dominant. Yeah. And on that second round, when all that was left was the B point to cap for Optic Gaming, how e United pushed up pipes and rotated to mid and then rotated back to pipes, applying that pressure on their spawn was immaculate. They were inside of their building getting those kills. Optic Gaming couldn't go anywhere. They shut them down so bad that they were able to go into that next map and keep them under 60 points. That's how bad that control was. It's a flawless game. United what? has 100 lives, man. Like, so after map one, we've seen that Optic Gaming now that it lost only one hard point to that point. Skunk was frying. They looked incredible. They went up 5-3 in that search. Dashi had 16 kills. Everything needed help. looked like it was going Optic Gaming's way. United survive again. Take that map, and it's just the way that these guys bounce back from, from being down is incredible. They did it twice now, once against EG, and now, right now, just against Optic Gaming to get to, to, get to that grand final. What do you think the, the tipping point was? That it, was there something for you guys in that series that was kind of that moment where United started running? Oh, I think it was, was the, the control. Was it I think control? it was the control, for sure. I mean, it was 1-1 at that point. Going into that control, how dominant that was, like, especially that round number two, I think Optic Gaming were like, okay, we need to like, figure something out right now. And they just didn't have enough time to figure it out in between maps three and four. That map four was absolutely flawless. Now, elsewhere, of course, on Bravo, Enigma 6, 
eliminated. They have secured fourth place at Champs. Congratulations to them, but they were simply no match for 100 Thieves, who took them apart map by map. Is, the games were actually pretty close. 100 Thieves and, e and E6 played a really good series, but there's a lot of clutch moments out of Kenny. A lot, like he was, he was putting them in dad mode. Like he Octane. went off. Octane one v three them to win around. You rarely see Octane get hype and start screaming, but he one v three to win the first round of this control. I mean. Yeah, 100 Thieves looks scary right and, now. And 100 Thieves, you know, they, they win that series and they've been cruising through this loser's bracket since losers round one. And Opti Gaming's coming off of a pretty tough loss right there to United. They got bodied on games three and four. And 100 Thieves, they seem disciplined in hardpoint. They look way better than they did in the beginning of this tournament. Opti Gaming, on the other hand, what we were talking about, what we were worried for, the, for them going into this tournament was their discipline in hardpoint. Their discipline went out the window on that arsenal. They were so low challenging. We saw them getting picked apart on every single rotation. 100 Thieves will punish them just like E United did in Hardpoint if Optic comes and plays like that once again. Now let's take a look at our bracket. We have been whittled down to our top three. E United in the Grand Finals. And either Optic Gaming or 100 Thieves will ascend to meet them there. But one of them will have to do two best of fives to be able to take it away. Okay. You can see it, of course, Optic Gaming, 100 Thieves. Coming up next, we will have to see if Optic Gaming, Optic Gaming can regain, if they can calm themselves and take on 100 Thieves in this loser's bracket to get back into a grand final against e United, or if e United is simply going to walk away as your champions. Coming up, 100 Thieves, Optic Gaming.